Hello everyone and welcome to Having Brighter Days. My name is Deanna and I want to do something a little differently. Um, I have here my napkin and okay follow along with me. What I'm going to do is I'm going to cut the napkin in half. What I have here are a stencil of my two molds and I'm going to get this bottom half. I'm going to cut the napkin but typically I do the entire thing white, the entire mold with white resin. But with this background being blue, I don't want it to be a harsh line. So I'm gonna kind of mix up white resin and do white on the bottom half where my napkin's gonna go. And I'm gonna fill the rest with kind of this teal, aqua, turquoise color. And we'll see what kind of look we get here. I'm going to attempt it in my uh, rectangle one, and then I'm gonna to attempt it in my charcuterie board. So let's go ahead and get started and mixing up our resin. All right, so what I did, I did a little mark uh, just so I knew where the napkin kind of lined up. So I knew how much white to put. And then I just kind of filled it with my alcohol inks. I forgot to tell you which colors I used. I kind of had to do a combination of turquoise and blue to kind of get this color. And I think I'm right on it. We'll compare it in a sec. And then I used just my white pigment paste for the white part. Now, typically what I like to do is I like to lay the napkin down while the resin is wet. Usually at that like two to three hour mark where it's still sticky, but it's no longer moving. However, I'm gonna try doing it with Mod Podge and see what kind of look we get with this one. So I'm gonna show you how I prepare my napkin. <coughs> Excuse me. So we have our full sheet of napkin and this design is kind of you kind of get four or you can get two. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go straight down the middle. And I made kind of like a stencil of my mold. And that kind of helps me cut my napkin to the right size. But I'm curious is if I have more of the white on which side. So I kind of have it up higher on this side, so I might kind of get more of this sunflower versus this one. Yeah, let's do it that way. Okay. So just so I have a mark, let's cut there and cut. Okay, so I'm gonna kind of line up my stencil and let's cut it down to shape. Okay, so what I did is I just kind of cut along the edge. I may have cut a little bit too much right there, but I think it'll all be fine. Um, and we'll see what kind of blend we get. Next, so our napkins have the three layers. You want to keep the top layer. So one, two, three. We're going to keep this one. 
Uh-oh. Oh, no. Did I get... Oh, I must have gotten resin or something on it. Look at that. Oh my goodness. Well, I can use, excuse me, I can use this side for something else. But, cool thing is, is our flower has multiple sides. So, I'm going to cut this up. Uh, I'm going to try to do a little bit of a better job on this side. And I'll see you in a second. Okay, so we caught back up. So now, let's get our three layers removed. Try this one more time. One, two, three. Ah, beautiful. Okay, so we have our napkin. I'm gonna get my Mod Podge. Uh, there's my other brush. Okay, so. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to apply a layer of Mod Podge onto our board. And then next, what I want to do is I don't like that harsh line that I have on the edge. So let's lay down our napkin. Just going to kind of start from one end. And then I have my dry brush. And that's going to help me push down the air bubbles while applying. I'm going to try to get this crease out as best as I can. Looks like I'm kind of up on the edge. So what I'll do, you don't want to push too hard because your napkin is really thin. So you could uh, easily rip it. So I need some more glue on that top part. What I'm going to do is get my little knife and gently kind of remove where my tweezers go. Kind of remove this section up here. I have a, I'm struggling with this corner. Cut that. Peel away. Ooh, don't cut the mold. There we go. Got a little bit. There. And let me fix this top section. Add a little more.
a little heavy handed on that end. Okay, then we're gonna get our brush and I'm just gonna kind of rub. I'm just using a little silicone brush. down on my edges And what this is doing is it's kind of like tearing it a bit. Tearing up some pieces. And kind of blending out that cut line. side kind of dried up a little bit so now I'm just using my nail to kind of get in there okay so I still have my wet wipe I'm just gonna kind of go around and pick up any of the glue this is all dry we'll come back with our clear top coat all right so here we have it's all demolded and I gotta say I love the way this turned out fun fun experiment to try not having to do the whole background white uh, experimenting with the alcohol and our paste I am so happy oh it came out so beautiful well thank you guys so much for watching I had a lot of fun making this and I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you on the next one